it going? In this video, I'm doing a little review of the Alvarez ABT60 baritone acoustic guitar. Now, this is a great guitar for entering some lower sonic territories. So, let's take a closer look at the instrument. <laughs> So the baritone guitar is tuned a lot lower than a standard tuned guitar. Now we've taken standard tuning in E to E and transposed it down so it's B to B. Now to cope with the lower tuning we've got a longer scale length on the instrument which is the first thing you have to get used to when playing it. It's uh, pretty easy to get used to though and of course we're using a heavier gauge string. And This particular guitar is voiced between an acoustic bass and a dreadnought so it's got a big voice and a big low growl to it. Now, the great thing about being in this tuning is, you're, if you already know how to play guitar in standard tuning, you can play this instrument. It just means that all your chords and your scales have just moved down to a lot lower note. So, if you play, for example, an E major chord, it now becomes B major. So that means that you can play all the rest of the songs that you already know, and it just adds this new moody quality to what you're playing. So the Alvarez ABT60 is part of Alvarez's artist range of instruments, which they've been winning awards for recently, and I can see why. I mean, this guitar is very affordable, but offers a lot of great features. Things such as the solid Sika spruce top, and the Alvarez bi-level bridge, which is unique to their company. And the fact we've got a bone saddle and a bone nut, and this mahogany neck is really comfortable to play, and because it's got this semi-gloss finish, it doesn't get really sort of sticky when your hands get sweaty from playing. And the mahogany back, it's a laminate but it looks really nice. The, the gloss has got a really deep look to it. And the voice of the instrument, it's got this low growl that's got kind of a crisp clarity to it. And as you play the instrument you can feel it vibrating inside you. And because of the lower tuning, it makes you approach writing riffs and songs differently and pulls different music out of you. So um, if you come across the Alvarez ABT60, I just recommend giving it a try. Now it's not going to be for everyone, but I know a lot of people already like it. And if the people at Alvarez are watching, is there any chance you could do a 12 string version of this instrument so you can get the um, more of a lead belly feel going on? Well, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.